Moving on from that, Uganda Broadcasting Corporation and Sin Archives photo exhibition of, of President, for former President Eid Amin Dada has officially been opened today at the Uganda Museum. Now, the exhibition was opened by the second Deputy Prime Minister and also Minister of East African Community Affairs, Kirunda Chivejinje, who represented President Museveni at the event that marked the International Museum Day. Senuno has won the report. Uganda Broadcasting Corporation's unseen archives of former President Idi Amin have officially been exhibited at the Uganda Museum in Kampala. These were part of the activities to mark the International Museum Day, running under the theme, Museums for Transforming Society. In his message read for him by the second deputy prime minister, Kirunda Kiveidinda, President Yerika Guta Museveni highlighted that museums enable us to preserve the heritage as well as political history. He also indicated that they must become agents of change and development as they mirror events in society and become instruments of progress. We must jealously guard our cultural art artifacts and preserve our inheritance and heritage for prosperity. This indeed keeps our cultures intact in the face of the time of localization. Earlier on, former ministers during Idi Amin's presidency, including Professor Edward Rugumayu and Henry Chamber, addressed a panel discussion moderated by UBC's Maurice Mujisha. Sectors at the time as minister. But I told him that he must know that he, has, he cannot create life and he should not take life. And that. His whole role as a president was to protect the lives of Ugandans. They read that openly. Then he added, oh, Rukumai had to go because he was miserable. He had lost his wife, which was true, of course. Uh, so he's gone. So that was it. So you can imagine we had to do it. And they say the rest is hit really. Eventually we landed in Zambia. They painted a picture to the relatively young audience of Idi Amin's presidency. Idi Amin was a boxer. <laughs> well, does anyone deny that? Would you go and claim Achibu as a good uh, athlete, but Yudi uh, Amin, because he was from West Nile, shouldn't be uh, praised? Uganda Broadcasting Corporation's managing director, Winston Agava, later revealed that the corporation he heads plans on digitizing all archives in its possession. To digitize all the reels, the beta cams, and all the other materials, the different formats that uh, we have in our store. Uh, it's an expensive venture. We are looking forward to partnerships. We are already venturing out to, see, to seek out partnerships, not only with um, the people that have already come on board, but government too is giving us some substantial funding, hopefully in the next financial budget, uh, that will see us not only digitize, but also want to put together a museum at UBC that can tell the journey of the communication sector uh, in terms of radio and TV. Um, so this is work in progress. It's, um, it will take some time, but the beauty about it is we shall be able to tell the Ugandan story from real images that have been kept over time. Professor Derek Peterson from the University of Michigan, who was part of the archiving process which started in January 2018, says after this exhibition, the huge task lays ahead. Here that Ugandans would have the opportunity to see these negatives, these photographs, which have never been seen before by anyone is to me tremendously exciting. It is a kind of testimony to what institutions in this country and institutions in the global north can do together to make new ways of seeing the past possible. As I was saying earlier, I think there's a useful, it's useful for Ugandans to see what's happening here at the museum as connecting with other kinds of activities that are happening elsewhere in public life. The exhibition will run for three days and will be addressed by different panel groups. Uganda Broadcasting Corporation also intends to take this exhibition up country. This here is part of the larger unseen archives of President Idi Amin held by Uganda Broadcasting Corporation. Of course they are called unseen because until today these images had never been printed. The images are so rich in nature that they date back to the early days of President Amin, the days that came to be known as his honeymoon, and the days leading to his downfall. It's a rich collection, and one can say it covers the presidents of Idi Amin through the camera lens. Samuel Senon, UBC News at the Uganda Museum.